Hello YouTube, my name is Hero and today we're going to be continuing the series Black Desert Misconceptions with episode 2. In the last episode we discussed how gear versus skill as a very big misconception on the community. If you haven't checked that out, I'll leave a link in the description to the previous episode. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the RNG system and how it actually is not an issue in the game and is actually much better for the game than people realize in terms of progression and longevity in, in overall. So. We're going to begin by comparing Black Desert to um, a, 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 another very popular MMO that a lot of people may have played and may have stopped playing. It's an action MMO. It had great graphics and it was just a pretty pretty damn good game when it first came out. It had a buy to play model similar to Black Desert Online and then out of, it was made in Korea similar to Black Desert Online. And after the um, buy to play model faded, it went free to play and uh, yeah, similar to Black Desert Online. I, I mean, Black Desert is not free, but it's pretty much free. It's five bucks. So, so um, and this game is called Terra. Now, Terra was a marvel at the time. It was the first action MMO to ever be released, and it was just breathtaking uh, at the time. It, it was it was just one of the best or the best available MMOs. Everyone was playing it. Everyone tried it. It was a lot of fun. It had great PvP. It had great PVE. It had great everything. It was a good game. Uh, it, it had it's, it had its flaws, just like any game does. But it was a great game. Now, in Terra, there wasn't really much RNG. It was more, you work for this, you do this, and you'll get the item. You do this, and you'll get the item. It might take a while. It might take you a couple months to get the item, but if you do this enough, you will get the item, guaranteed. If you farm this boss enough, if you go to this dungeon enough, you will get whatever item it is that you're trying to get. You get the crafting level, you craft the item, whatever. It's going to work 100% if you have the materials. There was no RNG involved. The only RNG was if you got a couple pieces of the craft rather than just one piece every time you tried to kill a boss, etc, etc. So there was very little RNG involved in Terra. Um, and even then, it could be supplemented by going to the marketplace and just buying the item if you were having a little bit unlucky RNG. You could just buy the item off the cash shop, uh, sorry, not the cash shop, the marketplace with your in-game gold or your in-game currency. Now. Terra is completely dead now, uh, completely dead, and um, they're having some updates that might revive the game, but as of right now, Terra is completely dead. It's just not, and no one is really interested in that game anymore, except for the few, you know, hardcore people that will never quit it. Uh, Terra was released January 25th, 2011. So, within seven years, Terra was completely dead. Uh, and that's not to say that nobody plays the game, but in comparison to, you know, what you would consider to be a live and thriving MMO, Terra is not that anymore. And it only took seven years for that to happen. But honestly, it happened a long time ago. I'd say it happened around 2015 to my, in my, in my experience, it was around 2015, but I'll give it the benefit of the doubt, but it say it definitely was dead by 2016. So five years, five years, Terra lasted. And that's a very long time for a video game to last. I think being able to play a video game with an, uh, an MMO, for that matter, with a live and thriving community for five years is is pretty successful. It does a MMO MMO doesn't have to last for the rest of time. You know, five years is pretty good. I'm not trying to knock Terra. I love Terra. I'm just saying Terra died. So why would we implement the same features? that Terra has into Black Desert Online. Now, Black Desert Online has been alive for two years and going strong and only going up in numbers instead of going down, which is a very good sign in the MMO, any MMO. So, why is Black Desert staying alive for so long? Why is the hardcore community sticking around? Why are casuals uh, sticking around and why are more casuals coming in? Well, when you get into the, the RNG system of Black Desert Online, there's a reason for that. I'm going to go over the pros and the cons of the RNG system. So when we're talking about the RNG system, basically we're talking about everything after plus 15 when it comes to gear. And then, of course, enhancing the best accessories are the more expensive accessories. I don't really care about the cheaper ones. I don't really care about gear going up to plus 15. You can figure that out. But once you get past that point, RNG starts to kick in. Be previously, um, for gear, whenever you enhance below plus 15, it doesn't 
degrade if you fail but once you get to duo and try when you fail they degrade and that's what that's the part that frustrates people and then for accessories especially the expensive ones like ogre rings and tongue rats and things like that and they 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 completely destroy when you fail which is another very frustrating thing that everyone has to go through at some point or another unless they just buy all their accessories but that's very difficult to do because everyone else wants to buy all their accessories as well and there aren't as many accessories going up if nobody's making them so that leads to a lot of frustration that leads to a lot of people being angry with the game and it rightfully so there's nothing wrong with being frustrated uh, the game is designed to make you frustrated. They want you to be upset when you fail an enchant because the only way to feel good about anything, the only way to feel satisfaction is to feel frustration. The amount of frustration that you feel before your satisfaction is what's going to make your satisfaction feel all the more better. You build up your frustration, you build up what you want, you build up the need to have it, then once you have it, you appreciate it a lot more and it's a lot more satisfactory. So that's one big pro of the RNG system is because it gives the player something to build towards, something to be frustrated on, and something to get their get their satisfaction levels built up on while as in Terra there was none of that the only satisfaction you had was very short-lived because the item that you had to get didn't require much frustration to achieve only just a lot of hard work which is what a lot of people are requesting BDO become but hard work doesn't necessarily lead to frustration it just leads to tediousness it leads to continuously doing the same thing over and over again with no different results occurring which can be boring for at least some people so another great thing about the RNG system is it gives players goals now you can design your own goals in this game for example my goal is to to get a pin dandelion weapon and then everything else be tech that's my goal but a lot of people have different goals some people want to have all pin some people want to have all try some people want to have a few tets a few tries you know there's no rule on how much gear you need or how much gear you must get you know uh the only thing that the game really suggests you do is to do is to go for all try uh, gear because when you get try on gear you get more stats than you do at any other enchant level so that's why try is very highly highly recommended at the very minimum but other than that, you don't have to go beyond try if you don't want to. You don't have to go at all. You can just stay at try. But a lot of people want to get the same gear as other people and get as high gear as other people. And in order to do that, you do have to put the work in. You do have to you do have to deal with the RNG system. You do have to play the game for a long time. And you do have to be patient. You have to be patient. And the great thing about that is because you have a goal, it gives you more of a reason to play the game. It gives you more of the reason to work hard. It gives you more of a reason to be invested in your character's progression. And being invested in your character's progression is probably the single most important factor of any MMO. If you are not invested in your character's progression, I'm sorry, but you are not playing an MMO. You're playing something else. You're playing an action RPG. You're playing something else. You're not playing an MMO. You have to be invested in your character's progression in order for an MMO to be fun. Once again, Terra didn't have any investment after you reach the max cap. You're waiting for a new expansion to release before you can progress your character again. In that time of waiting, you see the highest drop off of the entire game. Everyone just stops playing it because there's nothing more to do. The same goes for WoW, the same goes for any other MMO that has that has an expansion model where the game stops, the game halts until the next expansion comes out. A lot of people might enjoy that because it gives them a break, an off season from the game, but most people, most hardcore MMOers don't want that. And Black Desert is for the hardcore MMO that MMO player that doesn't want that, that wants that constant grind that wants that constant progression that wants that constant work that they have to go through now another pro is uh it sets up a soft cap it's 
it's pretty easy to get to well i shouldn't say easy but it's reasonable to get to full try slash full tet armor and then full try accessories that is considered the soft cap of black desert online for good reason it is very reasonable to reach that point of gear but anything beyond that is extremely difficult and extremely rng based that it's very 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 hard for players to advance beyond that point and because of that it sets in a pseudo cap it makes players who have already reached that point reach such a high altitude that they have to surpass that the people below them can catch up very 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 quickly the rng system in itself is a catch-up mechanic make no mistake it's there for the lower players to be able to catch up to the higher players and is designed in that way on purpose because getting to try and tet is a lot easier than getting to tet and pin so once again the the rng system is a catch-up mechanic as well now another asset of the rng system that people don't like is the rng of receiving materials it's not just the rng of the enchant failing or succeeding it's the rng of receiving materials required to do the enchant in the first place and in that regard i say there is a way to get every single material that you need. You just have to be patient in getting said material. You either have to gather it yourself, you either have to work for it yourself, or you have to play with the RNG system and try to get it on the marketplace. Those are your only two options, really, unless there's an event or something like that. Because the enchant materials are so hard to get, it builds the frustration that I already went over. But if they were easy to get, there would be no frustration. That would just be the same process of slamming stones into your weapons until they get to pin, tet, try, whatever you want it to be. They need to be difficult to get in order for you to receive satisfaction once you get them. If they weren't difficult to get, the game would be easy and everyone would be in all pin. It would be over. And I'm sure that's what some people want, but that's not what Black Desert is. It's just not. Now, another thing i have to say about the rng system and really the only con that i can have is the fail stack system just so you guys know i've been playing black desert even before it came out in north america i played on the very first day it released in the korean version and when it was first released in the korean version there were no such thing as fail stacks fail stacks did not exist they were not in the game when you enhanced it was always at zero there was nothing there there was no fail stack enhancement nothing just nothing can you imagine that just nothing so if you try to go we didn't have try back then but if you try to go for a prime market shadow a dual market shadow a tri market shadow guess what nothing a tri ogre ring nothing there was no fail stacks there at all they did not exist they implemented fail stacks and i think that was their biggest decision their biggest mistake when it came to the en enchanting system and i'll tell you why fail stacks act as a placebo effect and nothing more but people treat them as so much more people say what i've got 250 fail stacks and i still can't get pinned and that's not the way fail stacks were ever meant to be thought of that's not the way they were designed fail stacks are just like hey bro at least you got something because you failed that's all fail stacks were intended to be from the beginning but now people are are using them as an expectation they say oh i used 60 fail stacks on a tri ogre ring and i didn't get it fail stacks were never intended for that and because they've implemented fail stacks and they can't remove them now because they are embedded in the community and in the economy they have to keep them so that's where the con comes in the con is that some players receive enchants at the dumbest fail stacks there ever can be i'm sure you guys have seen someone receive a pin dandelion weapon on ridiculous stacks 46 stacks or 18 stacks someone even a zero stack absolutely ridiculous when you compare it to someone who's reached 250 to 250 plus stacks trying to get pinned and still hasn't got it it has to be frustrating for that person for the person who's reached 250 fail stacks trying to get a pin and cannot get one and then they see a video of someone else get it at zero stacks on their first attempt when they're just joking around i understand that i completely get that that person who failed the pin so many times has the right to be upset in that situation but at the same time 
the RNG system is a necessity in the game, even if that frustration is perfectly valid to the point of you might not even want to play the game anymore. It's still needed. But those are the only people who I will understand and accept a true criticism of the game from because they have already gone through the entire RNG process and it should be fail stack should matter at some point. I wouldn't I wouldn't I couldn't understand getting to 250 plus and still failing your pin. That that's just not fair in my my opinion. That means you've tried dozen over a dozen times and you still haven't got it. That that's that's not fair when there's people getting it at one attempt. I don't think that's I don't think that's that that's reasonable at all. So I completely understand the the issues there. So now that I've gone over the entire RNG system and how I feel about it and why it is a necessity for the game and why Black Desert is more healthy because of it, now we're going to go into how you can get around the RNG system, how you can learn how to make the RNG system into your own and what you can do about it. Okay. So I'm going to start with basic facts here. RNG is random number generator. It means that something happens at random. And there are people that will tell you uh, computers cannot simulate randomness. But then I refer to the guy that got an R, uh, a, a random pin at zero stacks. The only counter to the RNG system is repetition. Repetition is the only counter to RNG. The more often you do something, the higher your chance will be of achieving it. So whether that be trying to get a tri ogre, whether that be trying to get a pin dandy, whether that be trying to get a tet offhand, no matter what, if you the more times you try it, the better your chances will become. And thus, I repeat, repetition is the counter to RNG. Now. You guys might be thinking, that's not much of a counter hero. I thought you had some kind of secret formula that you use to make all your enchants work. And that thought process is why you are having so much frustration with this game. When you stop thinking that way and when you just think either this shit is going to work or it's not, you will have a much easier time with the RNG system. What I can say, though, is try to make backups whenever you try to go for a big enchant. Say, for example, if you want to go for a tri ogre, try to make a new tri ogre first or try to make a new duo ogre first before you go for try. That way it doesn't hurt as much when you fail. Uh, that's one thing I can recommend. And uh, I, I often use that. But sometimes I don't use backups. Sometimes I just go all in because, hey, it's a video game at the end of the day. It's tied to character progression. You got to that point that you're at now. You can get there again if you fail. But what if you get something good out of it? You know, you have to think of it that way. You have to think positively. You have to continuously, continuously try. That's the key. Just continuously try. If you keep going, if you keep trying one inch in a week or one enchant every two weeks, one enchant a month, whatever, eventually you will get there. You just have to keep trying. And that is what's gonna keep Black Desert alive is the people who keep trying, it's the people who keep coming back, it's the people who don't give up and don't let the frustration send them away from the game. It's the people who understand that RNG is here for a reason and it has to be here no matter how frustrating it is, it needs to be here or Black Desert will be dead in three more years. But anyway, guys, I didn't want to become a motivational speaker on this stuff. Um, at the end of the day, there are really no facts about R uh, the RNG system. It's all about your own personal opinion and the way you play it. But this is my opinion when it comes to the RNG system. This is the way I see it in Black Desert Online. I hope I've opened up some eyes here and I hope you guys enjoyed this 20 minute long video. Holy shit. Uh, I don't know how I talked for 20 minutes, but I'm going to end it now. Thank you guys for watching. It's your boy Hero. See you guys next time. Peace.